Back to Soweto now, where former DA leader Mosi Maimane has established, of course, a new party. And we take you to Soweto where this is happening, as we understand. He's now on the podium. Failing, you then look around and you see leaders who are comfortable to steal and to eat. We are so hungry, That's what state capture is. It's our leaders going outside to eat and satisfy themselves so that when they come inside, we look around and we say, we have no hospitals, we have no clinics, we have no schools. It pains me still today. You know, my wife and I the other day went to Delft police station. When we got there, we looked around to see what happens when a woman is raped. I was pained to see. For if you're a woman living in South Africa, your home is not safe, your city is not safe, and your body is certainly not safe from this crime and the men <clears throat> in this country. Mm. Today when I woke up, I realized we are in stage four. Yeah. Maybe on Monday we'll be on stage six. Yo. Maybe the following day we'll be on stage three. Yo. What is ESCOM is now become ESCOM. Hey. <laughs> Our currency is even failing. Dilodiatura. Yay! How do you reckon about Roto last week? Or do you reckon next week? Wa abona kurbu ilego di mo. Okabua hap. How do you reckon? How do you take si from Soweto or Yagua? Yatura. How do you reckon about Takasi? Or fella kapile? How do you want to mukolo? Wa ka ukiotse na mo pei? You realize that at the end of the money, there's still more months left. Are people under stress? Our nation is failing. Our nation is broken. Things have to change. We have to move away from an economy that works for a few to an economy that works for everybody. There are so many citizens at home who say, they don't see us. I want to say to those citizens, to those people, Build one South Africa sees you. It sees the fact that Halena Meti, Halena Mutakasi, La Sokola, South Africa, Lilibeti, Halibereki. And I'm here to tell you that there is a hope in this country. And we, as Build One South Africa, will deliver that change for the people of this country. Amanta! We no longer can have an extractive economy that forgets. An economy that remains here that is dominated by only a few. So here's what we got to do. A, this is what Build One South Africa was built for. We want to build an entrepreneurial education in this nation. In this country who say to themselves, look, we are going to pass mathematics with more than 50 percent that is a dream for where the young people of this country are we have to begin there but to achieve that fellow south africans i want to make you realize sorry, the dream that i hold for this country is a dream upon which not only is our education improving but we have an economy that will put a job in every home. Ah, I want to put a job in every home in this country. Why a job is important? Because a job gives you dignity. It lets you feel that you are working somewhere. 
It gives you an income in the home. Now people say, how are you going to do that? Give out our economy to be reinvigorated by setting up capital so that businesses can be started mokasi digital companies can work in our communities but all the people i want our families to work closer to home because when you work closer to home you can see your children in the morning see them in the afternoon and know their dignity is protected we got to put a job in every home Amanda. We're tired of an economy that works only for a few. We want an economy that works for everybody. We're tired of the monopolies of a few, the big banks, the big businesses, all of that. We want microeconomy to begin. Because competition is our only future. When people compete, People are then able to say, let's find the best goods. You know how attender Finra Liamokas? Before the companies in South Africa did run away, they said, wait to go to Papaya. They said, don't go to Papaya. They said, don't go to Nakara, I'm telling you, when Build One South Africa is on the table, we will give you capital so that your business moves from just servicing Mokasi and service the people of this country so that more can be done by the people of South Africa. Amanda! Pambili, Mom Sevenzi, Pambili. But that's not all. Our priority must be to ensure that citizens feel safe in our country. I won't lie to you. How we have a police station or a case, if a guy, then you got a problem, right? I'm not, you know, I want to say this. The police are not the enemy always. The fear should not be with us it should be with the criminals we're gonna build a police service in this country that's gonna make sure for how little on scum for joe murder must decrease in this country this nation needs to be safe Gone should be the days when anyone gets into an Uber as a woman, they feel fearful, or when you come into your house, you are scared. I'm telling you, and I want to send this message loud and clear to all the criminals in this country. When Build One South Africa comes in here on Scom for Joe, so see, it's your last days till this government has allowed you. Arifete! We're going to make sure our clinics work. I didn't warn my mother that I'm going to tell this story. But you know, my mother goes to the clinic. That's not the South Africa we want. You can blame this one, blame that one. But we're going to put a healthcare plan together that ensures that even from a primary level, clinics work for the people. When someone told me the other day and said, Me ubila swa because I fell at Wiki, ki oxygen because of low chedi. Kar ow, it's so painful. Our healthcare system is failing, Bato. Let's fix it for the people. Before we have leaders who have to go overseas to get healthcare. When the leaders have to go to Russia to get health care, where do you and I go? Fellow South Africans, now is the time to build South Africa. I want the best doctors, the best nurses, the best teachers to be well rewarded, well paid, so that they can build this country of ours. I'm challenging everybody to say it's our partnership. We don't start a political party because we think it's easy. We start it because we believe in the values of Ubuntu. We believe human beings can be brought together by values of justice, that diversity, and a future for South Africa. 
we strongly believe as we stand here together that we can build a parliament that is filled with the best leaders in this country. That's why from henceforth, I'm not just standing for president, but I want the best cabinet in 2024 that yeah. is made up of people from different places yes. that can say, we work for the people, yes. not against the people. I'm here to tell you, not the corruption at leadership. Yeah. We got to get leaders who work for the people. We have to get a president who's accountable to the people. Yeah. We have to get a president who stays awake all the time. It's time to build. Yeah. Because now is the time for change. We got to change it. We must ensure that we have a government, not only that is led by a cabinet that works, but a government that's efficient. And this is where I promise you we've got to digitize government. Why how Tonsu apply le passport? How Tonsu apply le go home affairs and you stand in a long line at the home affairs? Why is it that when you have to renew your driver's license, it takes you weeks and weeks on end? I'll tell you why. Because on another level, there are people who benefit from a broken system. Yeah. yeah. Because someone reminded me, they say the system is not broken, it's working for somebody. Right? We want all of those officials who take bribes to do their jobs. I'm saying your days are numbered because 2024, when we eradicate corruption, we don't just start with a politician. We clean out the service. It's efficient for the people of this country. Yes. But now is the time that anyone who lands in this country and I know you might say, why do we need an efficient government? Let me say this to you. I love this continent. I love Africa. I'm a proud African. I want a continent that works so that anyone who comes into this country is legally so, whether they are from Africa, Russia, Europe, America, Zimbabwe, Zambia, they must be able to come here legally. But if we're going to do that, we best make sure there is a home affairs that works that can give everybody their visas on time, all the time. That's yeah. why we need a government that works. Yes. But let me tell you another thing. We've got to make sure that we take our leadership role as South Africa. I have fought against dictators. I was there in Zambia. When Edgar Lungu was there, I stood up, I said, I stand with Hakiende Ichilema. Now today, Hakiende Ichilema is the president in Zambia. Yeah. When the Malawian government rigged the elections, I stood with Lazarus Chakwera. And now today, Lazarus Chakwera is the president in Malawi. Next year, I'm going to Zimbabwe yeah. to make sure that when we work with Nelson Chamisa, we can bring change in yes. Zimbabwe. Yes, yes, yes. But history does repeat itself because sweeping change started not only in Mozambique, in Malawi, in Zambia, in Zimbabwe, and ended up in South Africa. I am yes. here to tell you that the next five years, you are about to see as the change began in Malawi, it began in Zimbabwe, it's happening in Zambia, it is coming here to South Africa. Ah. Hey, no Whoa. fear, Whoa. now is the time. So like me, I want a place. I want someone to vote for. Let's build one South Africa. Yep. Let's build that one. 
I'm here to give you your marching orders now. We're going to go out of here. We will be launching in every province between now before the end of the year. Yeah! Retaveria province by province bringing South Africans together. Reminding them of our values. Saying to the people of this country, we're going to put a job in every home. We're going to educate every child. We're going to make sure our streets are safe. We're going to make sure our families stay together. And ultimately, we're going to have a government that works for the people. I'm coming to Limpopo. I'm coming to KZN. I'm coming to the Northern Cape. We are here to build a movement of change to build South Africa. And I'm inviting the business community. I'm inviting civic society. Let's work together. Together for change. Yes. Together to bring a South Africa that works. Fellow South Africans, I warn you now, if we do not bring about the change, if we do not put the factories in townships, if we do not ensure that we are safe, I'm not sure where 2029 is going. Do not fear change. Hold on to hope. Hold on to tomorrow. Now I want to say this to you. This has not been an easy decision. My family and I, my wife and my kids, we prayed. We prayed for this country. And we said to ourselves, we can't sit on the sidelines. We said to ourselves, Numaganjani, we will give everything we can to this country. Mm. We are going everywhere to find like minded South Africans. Ota to Kusta and the many others across the country that we will be engaging to say now is the time for change. This is our country. And you know, when I prayed, I felt this. That Moses, who grew up in the system, understood what the system did, went out of the system, had to come back into the system and say to Pharaoh, let my people go. Shoo. I'm standing here together saying, South Africa, you deserve better. Let our people thrive. Let's build the new superstars so that Heritage Day of 2029 and Heritage Day of future generations will be a heritage of pride, of joy, of a job, of a safe country, of a nation that works for all black, white, Indian, colored. Now is the time. I'm going to ask everybody in this place, let's stand up together. And as we launch this political shoo, party, shoo, remind shoo, ourselves shoo, that shoo. South Africa is best served by a party that will work for the people, not against the people. Let's find the best candidates. And I want to invite everybody on stage and challenge everybody and say to the people of Otsa, to the people of Bossa, Riagopili, Huyaruna, Most South Africa, I thank you. May God bless our nation. May God bless South Africa. Hotsian South Africa. Arien Kiri Huyaruna. We are Runa. 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 We are Right, for Build One South Africa, Bossa and Naledi Soweto, that's Mosi Maimani. They're just speaking uh, to some of the draw cards for the people there ahead of the 2024 elections. This is all now uh, currently, of course, happening at the launch of his new party uh, that will contest the 2024 elections.